In this figure, we have a plot of potential energy versus position as a 0 0.9 kilogram particle that can only travel along an x-axis moves with no conservative forces involved. The values of UA are 15 joules, UB is 35 joules, and UC is 45 joules. The particle is released at x equals 4.5 meters with an initial speed of 7 meters per second headed in the negative x direction. If the particle can reach x equals 1, what is its speed there? And if it, what is its turning point? Okay. So we know it's moving at 7 meters per second, so we can figure out how much kinetic energy it has. Its mass is also given as 0.9, so I know it has 22 joules of kinetic energy. And according to the graph, at this position, it has 15 joules of potential energy. So that is a total mechanical energy of 37 joules. And if I were moving to the left, I need to have more than 35 joules of mechanical energy to get past this point. So I will get past x equals 2 meters, and I'll have 2 joules of kinetic energy left over. The difference between the potential energy at x equals 2 and the, and the amount of mechanical energy that the particle has. So 35 of it is PE, 2 of it is KE, so 2 then is equal to 1 half mv squared. Solving that for v, I see the particle is moving at 2.1 meters per second. Okay, parts B and C. What are the magnitude and direction of the force on the particle as it begins to move to the left of x equals 4? So as it moves to the left of this point, in this region, what are the force and direction acting on the particle? Well, we remind ourselves that when we look at potential energy as a function of position, here's our equation that tells us it is the negative of the slope. So whatever the slope is, is the magnitude of the force, and the direction is opposite of the sine of the slope. So in this region, we see here we have a negative slope. And when we take the negative of the negative, we get a positive. So the force is 10 newtons, and it is in the positive direction. Part D. If the particle can reach x equals 7, what is its speed there? And if it cannot, what is its turning point? Well, I've drawn on the graph here the total amount of mechanical energy we have in the system is 37 joules. And so this is as far as it can make it. There's the turning point. So I have to figure out what is the x value right here of this point. So I'm going to use the equation for the point slope intercept. My first point is x comma 37. That's this point right there. x is unknown and 37 is my y value. The second point on that line I'll use is 645. So that's this point right here, 645. And the slope I can determine using the endpoints of here and here. So my two points are 5 comma 15 and 6 comma 45. There is my change in y over change in x. The slope of that portion of the graph is 30. So plugging into my point slope formula, 45 minus 37 are my y values. 6 is my x value. There's my other unknown x value that I'm trying to find. The slope was 30. Solving for x, I see that it will reach 5.73 meters on the x-axis. Parts E and F, what are the magnitude and direction of the force on the particle as it begins to the move to the right of x equals 5? So that's in this region right here. I already found out the slope of that line is 30. So the, remember, the force is opposite of the slope. So that means the force in that region is negative 30 newtons.